We are hours away from March 2023. Here are the most recent wrestler comments I've been able to gather. Ichi no Jo dumped by suspension into Division 2 for the first time since 2020. I had a lower back operation on February 13th, but even without proper training, I'll turn up to fight. I've not really done practice bouts since the start of last month. Defending second tier champion Asano Yama, who turned 29 on March 1st. Although piling up experience takes priority over results right now, I must still return to Ozeki quickly. Komusubi within this year is clearly an aim. Missing out on a top tier berth is a mental test right now, but I see the positives and have rallied myself to seal the deal this time. I'll be aiming big and have practiced with a view to dealing with all kinds of tactics. Takayasu, runner-up in the past two marches and who turned 33 on February 28th. My right knee problems from January have now cleared up. It's crucial to approach day one with no doubts at all. Do that and I can liven up this tournament too. My 33rd year was a valuable one. Now to kickstart my 34th in decent fashion. The man who deprived him of the cup last March, Wakataka Kage, injured in training with Asanoyama last month. There's no left rib problem now. I'm upping the pace of training as normal. Osaka is auspicious for me, and I'm focused on imposing my style here again. His brother, Wakamoto Haru. I want double figures and a special prize. I got several congratulations on 9 wins last time, but as a Sanyaku level wrestler now, I'm rather looking for 10. Sekiwake Hoshoryu, who hurt his left ankle in January. That injury has not fully cleared up, but I'm able to train on it. I scraped 8 wins last time, but was angry with myself overall. I want to achieve the January target I missed. I won't say what that is though. In terms of individual foes, beating Kiribayama remains a goal, as we frequented the same judo club as kids. New Sekiwake Kiribayama, fresh from 11 January wins. Let's go for 8 wins first this time. If I fight how I should, results should follow. It was great to spar with Kakuryu for the first time in ages. He's really sturdy and strong. A source of strength for me, for sure. Pretty much anyone has a chance of taking my rank these days. I must fend them off and maintain my own advance. Judge Sadogatake adds that if Kiribayama posts double figures, He'll be fighting for Ozeki in May. Ex Ozeki Shodai, out of Sanyaku for the first time in three years. Honestly, I'm a bit relieved to have been demoted. Ozeki takes a mental toll because you're heaping pressure on yourself to win. I have the option of a right foot operation, but do not want to spend several months out. If the foot pain subsides, I have no problem charging, but I do want to kick forward more though. Division 1 debutant Kim Bozan. I rather hoped to be up here one or two tournaments sooner. I'll aim for Sanyaku and to inspire the next generation of Kazakh sumo athletes. Coach Kise, meanwhile, maintains that if Kim Bozan polishes his thrusting more, He'll win 90% of his bouts. First Division debutant Bushozan, the man who blocked Asanoyama's top flight return. 
I'm delighted to be in Division 1, the level for which I've aimed since watching Sumo on TV as a kid and thinking, these men are the elite. Let's see how far I can go with my brand of Push Sumo, and how near it takes me to the wrestler I most respect, my very own coach, Fujishima. September 2022 champion Tamawashi, facing Takakesho on Monday. I no longer want to be Ozeki, but I certainly want to beat Ozeki. And I'll be smashing straight into Takakesho. For who likes negative backfoot pulling sumo? Win or lose, I want to put on sumo, which makes the fans glad they came. I want to move people's hearts. Tamawashi's brother-in-law and new second divisioner, Tamashoho. It feels great to train in the white practice sash I desired for so long. Continuing as Tamawashi's attendant doesn't bother me, we just don't have the numbers at our stable. I'll serve him after my bouts are finished. I lose a lot in training, but in tournaments, when every bout is a one-shot game, you never know what can happen. If I lock on my frontal right grip, I don't see myself losing. January Wavemaker Ornosho. Having worked so hard just for 10 wins last time, I now comprehend the amazing level required to actually claim the cup. That's a hurdle I've got to get over. As joint leader on January Day 12, I could just about glimpse my title chances way into the distance. And even then, just for a moment. Mentally, I lacked the requisite strength. I guess I naturally see myself as Takakesho's rival, and it's galling he's left me so far behind. January runner-up Kotoshoho. I won't be overly conscious of my higher rank. I simply want to display my good points. A left ankle sprain has impacted my training somewhat, but I'm good to go now. In the January Decider, I was slightly phased by Takakesho's status as my high school senior. I want to utilize that experience to help me fight more calmly. His trusted colleague, Kotono Waka. I will aim for double figures as I'd like to build a platform from which to push for Ozeki. I want to output my strength in every bout and put everything into what I'm good at. Evergreen Nishikiyi. I've made Division 2 and Division 1 in Osaka. It's transformed my sumo life in the past, so why can't I make Sanyaku now? I'm in good condition, and with the anniversary of the earthquake coming up, I want my native Iwate to see how hard I'm trying. Shoulder Swing Down Specialist Midori Fuji. If I pick up enough wins, I can make Sanyaku. I'll be doing my best to reach 10. My spirit fell apart in the latter half of January, but I've built it back up through training with the Yokozuna, who's better than everyone else. I'm grateful to have him so nearby. Recently demoted Meisei. After 10 defeats last time, I want to get back into Sanyaku. I simply wasn't good enough. I hurt my left wrist in February, and it does remain a concern, but no one in sumo is injury free. I've just got to get on with it. And finally, loudly lauded Yokozuna contender Takakesho. It's a question of whether you're the chosen one or not. Yokozuna is not a status you can achieve while harboring unnecessary thoughts. I aim to fight highly spirited sumo from the first to the last. This is not a chance that comes every day. Coach Miyagino on Takakesho. Keep going as he did in the past two meets and he'll make Yokozuna no doubt. 
March is a test of how he's lived his life in February as a Yokozuna candidate. And coach Nishonoseki on Takakesho. He tends to return fire with fire and must take care to keep his cool. Foes will aim to get under his skin and then exploit the gaps. But I back him to succeed.